Hey everybody, Daniel here from Basement Tech. This may be the shortest video I ever do, but I wanted to highlight this pretty cool little chip that I'm using on a couple of projects that I want to keep simple. I'm using an ESP8266, which I'm sure you've run into um, the pin limitation just like I have. Uh, it does have very few usable pins when you start uh, running um, I2C and a few other things. But this um, nifty little chip that I picked up at Adafruit, I'm sure you can pick it up anywhere, is an I2C port expander. I've got just the little Blink um, program running that everybody starts with here. Don't pay too much attention to all the complication. Um, there's a couple of different things going on here, a couple of different prototypes. But this port expander is an I2C device, so it just takes two pins off of the ESP8266 and can coexist with other I2C devices at um, different addresses. Um, it provides on the output um, 16 general purpose I.O. pins. It'll run at 3.3 and 5 volts. So this is going to be perfect for the aquarium automation project where I need a lot of I.O. pins. And I'm working on another little remote control project for the um, Zim Knives uh, shop. The code is very simple. What I have running there is just the Blink program that uh, Adafruit always provides. And it's just a, um, I know, C++ library like any other Arduino library. Um, if you're going to try this, I'll let you in on a little secret that I didn't notice. Um, the address pins have to be actively pulled to the address you want, and uh, Adafruit assumes they're pulled down to zero as the last few bits of the address. So the uh, three address pins are pulled to ground and there's an external enable pin that needs to be biased to the high voltage. So anyway, this is pretty cool. It's going to provide some uh, um, desperately needed uh, pin expansion and I'm going to enable a couple of really neat projects with an extremely low cost um, microcontroller. Thanks, I hope you appreciate the brevity and, um, and the tip in using uh, this chip. Thanks, bye.